Question order. Question number eight. Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he agree with Reserve Bank Governor Graham Wheeler that there are increased risks to financial stability arising from the dairy and housing sectors? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, it's up to the uh, Governor to make his own assessments about financial stability. But I can agree with uh, the Governor's full statement, which reads, New Zealand financial system continues to perform well despite a deterioration in the outlook for global financial stability and increased risks related to the dairy and housing sectors. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is the Reserve, Reserve Bank Governor correct to say that, quote, house prices now exceed nine times gross income in Auckland, placing it among the most expensive cities in the world, end quote? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, if the Reserve Bank Governor made that statement, he'd simply be repeating statements that were made uh, any time over the last few years about the relative... Uh, relative expensiveness of the Auckland house prices. In fact, that's why the government initiated the Productivity Commission inquiry uh, into land pricing, I think two, if not three years ago, and has taken a raft of measures to try and to, to make progress and more supply of housing into the Auckland market. Supplementary, <laughs> supplementary question. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Does he accept any responsibility for the increase in the price to income ratio for Auckland housing going from six in 2011 to 9.2 in 2015? No, the Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, the responsibility lies with the decision maker who is the Auckland City Council. And we are reaping the rewards of 20 years of misguided planning that was designed to stop the city growing. Uh, secondly, the responsibility lies with the people buying the houses. And at a time when we have 50 year lows in interest rates, clearly the buyers believe they can afford those prices. I agree. That ratio is far too high, and I look forward to the support of the Labor Party for further measures to help reduce it. Question, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. So, is the Minister telling the House he doesn't accept any responsibility for a 9.2 price to income ratio for Auckland housing, given that? We've heard the news this week that his special housing areas brought in by his, his government have created a grand total of 102 houses. The Honourable Bill well, English. Mr Speaker, the member's simply wrong about uh, special housing areas. Uh, and I'm not surprised because he almost never does his homework properly. Given to, Mr Speaker. Order. Does the member want to ask a supplementary? Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Was he correct to say that his 2010 tax change would shift the economy towards savings, investment and exports and away from overinvestment in housing of the past decade, given that five years later the IMF says that we have, quote, chronically low national savings and the Reserve Bank says rising house prices present a significant risk to the New Zealand economy? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, I do stand by those statements. And here's one reason. Because of the changes made in that tax package, we now collect uh, around 800 million more tax off landlords. So whatever the house price rising rises in Auckland, uh, they may well have been more if we had not made that tax change and we've got the revenue to show for it. Question number nine, Jamie Lee Ross on behalf.